Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 61 of Build HMS Victory. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a victory down on the table. If there's anybody who's that's uh, a member of my uh, Facebook group, you have seen that I spent about three hours yesterday just practicing on this uh, starboard side with the uh, with the copper tiles. And to be fair, I'm, you know what I mean, I'm a lot more impressed than I thought it would be. Like I say, I, I kind of did it as a bit of a cheap alternative to copper sheet. And looking at it now, if I put you know, I mean, the copper sheets on and the uh, copper plate, I don't think you notice that much a great difference like so. Yeah, so I'm really impressed with that. Yeah, so I've got about another 10 layers of copper in to to this side. Before I continue that, I thought I'd, I'll turn the fixture around and start working on the uh, the port side and film this for you uh, to view. Okay, so when I first started planking this side, I was using a lot of individual tiles and I still started to realize that one, it'll take me for an age. And and two, if you've got like a, a strip of tiles or either four or five, once you've glued one on, you can kind of pull it a little bit more taut and it you get seem to get like a bit of a straighter line rather than the ones that did slightly stagger slightly. But pretty much all I did on, on the uh, starboard side is pretty much work from the keel and let's tuck it right to the top edge of the keel. And just stuck my first one in place. And then, you, like I said, if you're not quite happy, you can peel it back slightly and then just press it down. And once you're happy with the position of your first one, just get this fiberglass pencil and then just rub it in between the copper sheet. And then that one will be cut off later. And then let's add the second one along. Pull it tight, the second one added. So again, get your little fiberglass pencil and just press them in. Okay, so we pretty much start off by just adding a complete straight layer of copper tiles along the keel. There's I mean, nothing there really hard about this section, you just pretty much lay them in, in the rows of four all the way across. When we get to the uh, the bow, this is pretty much the same. Just keep it in a straight line. And then just cut off a bit of the excess. Okay, so after we've got this first one in place, we're taking this uh, this strip of beach, and this is the uh, five mil by zero point five. And I'm just going to lay it just on after the first layer of copper we fit in, and just going to just hold it down. And without like, forcing it myself, I'm just going to like, take its own natural its own natural line. I'm just going to just clamp it up. and then I'm just going to take the pencil and just draw a pencil line following the line of the, uh, the beach. Okay, so let's remove that. So that's saying that we only actually need a layer of copper just to cover these where this pencil line is. So we just need to put a layer on. I'm just going to put it on so we get the uh, staggered, staggered joints. And your second piece just wants to cross the first piece, run about half mil over the second one. Go back towards the bow, make sure you can see. Take this beach plank and pretty much do the same on this side. Just 
Let's kind of draw a pencil line where it's going to finish. I'm going to take a couple of these individual tiles again. And now I'm just taking my uh, utility knife. I'm just going to score along this edge. I'm just going to take the uh, fiberglass pencil and just press it in. So now we're back onto the uh, the full sheets again. So there's a slight bit of overlapping, but because this stuff's that, that memory is like 0.2 mil, you can barely see it. Basically, we're just filling this section back towards the uh, stern. Okay, so now we're back towards the uh, the stern. We kind of follow this this pencil line that we made on the beach strip. So I'm saying I'm just going to start in this corner. Just press the first one down. Then we're just taking, we can pull it tight, and then we're just going to press it. And then it's going to. Okay, so after that, just take the fiberglass pencil and just brush it over the cover plate in. Just take a, a strip of three and then just fill in that last section. And just fold them over, we'll, we'll cut them off later. So then it's just pretty much a repeat of the process. But you have quite a few tiles after that. I just find it a lot easier just to keep marking it with these beach strips and you've got a nice tight pencil line to follow which I just find a little bit easier to work to. Back to the bow. Sticking on these individuals first. So like I say, when you return back to the water stir, just follow this pencil line. And say when you get back towards the uh, stir, you can kind of make sure you're pulling this tight to make sure I've got my fingers out of the way. It's kind of difficult to show you this. You just want to make sure that you're following this pencil line. And that's one of the good things about this copper tape over the copper sheet is you can kind of, you mean, pull it 
and it is a bit more flexible than the copper sheet. And it's pretty much just a rinse and repeat for around about another 10 tiles. Okay, so I'm bringing this beach strip up. I'm going to put it put up to the uh, last strip of copper tiles. Same again, I'm just going to pin it into place. Nice, and just kind of just let it form its own natural natural curve right manipulating it too much and then same again so now we've got a kind of like what we used to have before these are what we like they call steelers they used to be like the steel planks that we did when we fitted the hole so you just want to take it back to where you know that you'll cover that pencil line So same again, so when we're working the full, a full layer of copper sheet, by the time we get to here again, we're covered, cover this section up. As you can see in there, I need to just half, add a half one. Let's add a single this time. Yeah, so now when we come across with a full sheet, That'll all be covered and all blend in. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the uh, the first section. Pretty much sold rinse repeat to get around about 10, 10 layers of copper sheet down. Then we obviously have to bring the two parts in together. And I'll, uh, like I say, so it's this section here where we uh, blend them in. So we kind of like, as we start going across in, in full sheets again this way, as we've been kind of coming into it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.